I am Rita Gostein, and this is my last lecture. Chapter 1, An Injured Lion Still Wants to Roar if I were to compare myself to an animal, it would be a polar bear because I see myself as a strong person that's always filled with courage. Just like me, polar bears are very adventurous and are always looking for new things to do. Like a polar bear, I can often be misjudged as mean and intimidating, but once you get to know me, I am very nice, humorous, and goofy. I always put my family first, and I'm always very protective of them, just like polar bears are with their family. Chapter 4, The Parent Lottery I can definitely say I won the parent lottery. My parents have always taught me to love myself and to never give up. My mom is a strong, brave, and amazing human. She's always here to help me with anything. She is my biggest fan and is always at my volleyball games supporting me. My mom has always believed in me and she knows I can do many great things in life. When I'm having a bad day, she always finds a way to cheer me up. My dad, has always helped me with just about anything I needed help with. He has always taught me not to give up even when I really want to. He's always pushed me to be my greatest and to always succeed. My dad is always there to help me when I need him, whether it's to take me to my volleyball game or help me with homework. He never lets me down. My brothers are my best friends. They can be annoying most of the time, but I still love them, and I'd never trade them for the world. My older brother is probably the nicest person I've ever met. He always helps me with homework and always drives me wherever I want to go. He's so caring and amazing, and I'm so happy he's my brother. My younger brother is very funny and never fails to make me laugh. Without him, life would be very boring. Many times he can be crazy and loud, but that's what I love most about him. My family may be crazy, but I still love them tremendously. They mean everything to me. Chapter 11, The Happiest Place on Earth A happy place is a wonderful place where you feel the most at home and you can express your true self. Many people have just one happy place, but I have two. My first happy place is Disneyland. When I'm at Disneyland, I feel free and I have no worries. I'm just there having fun with the people I love most. When I'm there, I can let go and be my crazy self without caring about anything. My other happy place is Lebanon. When I'm in Lebanon, I'm surrounded by family, and I always feel love there. Whenever I'm there, we go on adventures that last for the whole day and are so fun. I have so many amazing memories there. Being there makes me feel relaxed because I have nothing to worry about except for having fun. Lebanon is like a second home to me, and I love being there. Chapter 56, Tigger or Eeyore?
I consider myself to be a tigger. I know I'm not perfect and many times I'll have bad days, but I like to always keep a positive attitude because I only live once and life is too short to be negative. Life is hard, but being happy and positive will make it so much better. Smiling through the hard times will get you places and make your life more enjoyable. Chapter 61, The Dreams Will Come to You. Throughout my life, I've learned that I have to be careful with any decision I make. I always try my best and I push myself to the fullest so I can accomplish my goals. I'm not perfect and sometimes I do things without thinking, but I learned from my mistakes and now I'm doing great things in life. Reflections and thoughts. The first one is appreciate everyone and everything in your life because even if you don't know it, they've affected your life in a good way. The second one is never give up because everything is possible. You just have to believe. And the third is always stay positive and happy because life is too short. Thank you for watching.